Hi, I'm Chris with TNK Off-Road and Overland. Today, we're going to be installing some Firebug flush mount tail lights on my 2008 Jeep Wrangler you see over my shoulder. So here's the box that the Firebug brand tail lights come in. Here's the panel. So these things, just big sealed beam LED. It does stop, turn, tail, and brake. It also has side markers, as you can see right there by my thumb. It's a just a molded ABS plastic type uh, panel. The nice thing about these versus some of the more expensive ones is one, it comes with the uh, the resistor here for LEDs, and two, it comes pre-wired to accept the JK tail light uh, connector. So there's no wiring. This is a simple plug-and-play setup. All right, so here we are. We have our tail light. This one is the one on the driver's side. We're going to undo these two Phillips screws right here. One on the top, one on the bottom. Then you move the tail light towards the center, and it comes out. You have these two hooks right here. So I'll disconnect this, and I will be able to move it closer. So you have these brackets that you assemble with these push clips that are going to slide on inside of the body. The resistor is going to bolt across these two here as I will show you in a So second. when assembled, this is what the resistor on that bracket should look like. So I've pushed it on into the body here. It's not the best fit, honestly at all. Kind of wish that it would fit better, but it is what it is. I'm actually going to push it down a little bit farther down into this pocket before we're all done. Okay, now we have the light and the cover and pretty much everything all set up. It's kind of a trick. You gotta wedge that black metal bar back in there. They say it just kind of clips in. It does not. You have to hold it in while getting this all set up. Uh, the bolts are long enough to give you enough visual room and uh, room to work your hand, but as you're filming and doing all this other crap, it will do what it just did now and slide out of fucking place. Because, of course, why wouldn't it? So just kind of hook it back into place. Get the screws started. And don't do that. All said and done, that's what you should have. See? It looks alright. Let's see how it works. Now, hopefully that went well. Hey folks. All right folks, and that's it. You do the same thing on the other side and you're in business. So far it was a pretty easy install. They look pretty good. We'll see how it is on a review video later.